You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You came from heavens to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the throne, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the throne. Lord, I lift your name on our everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Lord, our Maker, our Redeemer, our Light and our Savior. Father, this hour we worship, we reference, and we exalt your holy name. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, for divine protection, for your mercy, for your kindness, for shedding the blood of your son Jesus on the cross for our sake, for our salvation. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we are grateful for the covenant of life. We are grateful, Lord, for fighting our battles for us. We are grateful, Lord, for your guidance in our lives. Lord, we are grateful for supplying all our needs. We are grateful, Lord, for laying your hand of power upon us. We are grateful, Lord, for giving us victory over darkness. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Merciful God, we know we have sinned against you. For the Bible says that for all have sinned and come to of your glory. Father, in any way whereby we have sinned and come to of your glory, we pray for mercy tonight. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that if we regard iniquity now, that the Lord will not hear us. Father, every sin in our lives, oh God, every iniquities of the heart that will shut the heavens of our prayers, Lord, we pray for mercy tonight. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Wash away all our sins and create in us a new heart in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand of power upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, the Bible tells us that you said your word that you give unto us power to trample upon serpent, upon scorpions, and over every walk of the devil. Father, tonight release your power upon us in the name of Jesus. Release your power upon our homes in the name of Jesus. Release your power upon this platform in the name of Jesus. And let serpent, let scorpions, and let the walks of the devil go be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and say, by the power Power in the name of Jesus, I destroy every serpent in my home in the name of Jesus by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. I destroy every serpent, every scorpions, and every works of the devil in my home. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. You serpent, you scorpions, you problems in my home. I destroy you by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I want us to quickly open our Bible to Exodus chapter 12, from verse 12 to 13. Exodus chapter 12, from verse 12 to 13. The Bible says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon thee to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. The plague will not be upon you and I when the Lord is passing through the land. That the blood shall be a token. We are going to pray that let the blood of Jesus 
be upon me and my entire soul. Say, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, be upon my household in the name of Jesus. Blood of beloved, the blood. The blood, you need the blood upon your home, upon your children. It is the blood that will set us free from the angels of destruction. It is the blood that will preserve our lives from this evil called coronavirus. It is the blood that will preserve us from the arrows of the enemy. Say, blood of Jesus, be upon my household. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, be upon me and my household. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, be upon me and my household. Blood of Jesus, be upon me and my household. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I overcome the spirit of untimely death in my home. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the the blood of Jesus, I overcome the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of calamity, the spirit of destruction, the spirit of death in my home. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome by the blood. I overcome by the blood. I overcome by the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood in Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, internal and external enemies. Internal and external enemies. Planning dangerous attack for my family this year. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Internal and external enemies. Planning destruction for my family. Planning to attack my family. Planning evil against my family this year. I overcome you. Mariko Sokorika Nereba. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Say, I overcome. Overcome by the blood of Jesus. I overcome by the blood of Jesus. I overcome by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, and of the wicked, and of the wicked shall not destroy my family this year. In the name of Jesus, the wicked will not prevail over my family. Our infirmities will not prevail. Sickness will not prevail. Arrows will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the wicked will not prevail over my family. Hand of the wicked shall not prevail over my children, shall not prevail over my home. Hand of the wicked shall not prevail over the works of my hands. Hand of the wicked shall not prevail over my family. In the mighty name of hope, put your mouth and declare it. Hand of the wicked shall not prevail over me and my family. In the name of Jesus, hand of the wicked shall not prevail over the works of my hands. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say evil legs shall not walk into my family this year. Evil legs shall not walk into my family, shall not walk into my home, shall not walk into my my life in the mighty name of Jesus, every evil legs planning to walk into my life be cut off right now, be cut off right now. Every dangerous legs, every legs of the enemies planning to walk into my home be cut off, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off in Jesus' name. We have prayed, say, Oh God, arise in your power. Oh God, arise in your power. Defend my family against marine attack. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, arise in your power. Defend my family against territory attack, against marine attack, against witchcraft attack, against attack from my father's house, against attack from my mother's house, against attack from my mother's house. Jesus Christ, arise as the man of war. Defend me, oh God. Defend my family. Defend our families. Defend our families. Defend us. God, in Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, we thank you once again because of who you are. We thank you, Lord, because you are God that answered by fire. Father, tonight, answer us by fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever we have done that will shut the heavens of our prayers, blood of Jesus, atone for us right now in the name of Jesus. Clothe us, O God, with garment of fire and lay your hand of power upon us tonight in Jesus' name. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name it is done. Father, I surrender myself before you. Anything in me that will make me, Lord, to speak heresy or to speak with the titles of man. Father, purge my life this night. Remove me and make me, Lord, a new vessel in Christ Jesus. Use me tonight as a vessel. Use me tonight as your oracle, as your mouthpiece to speak the word of life, the word of healing, the word of revival, the word of the word of salvation in the name of Jesus. And let the word that you use me to speak tonight, let it depopulate the kingdom of darkness. And let the word tonight populate your own kingdom. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, the hour has come. 
demonstrate your awesome power in my life and in the lives of every souls that are here tonight. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ another time in His presence. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to visit you and your family with His favor, with power, and with blessings in the name of Jesus. Very briefly, the Lord has given us the grace to look into what is titled demonstrating the power of God. Demonstrating the power of God. I pray that you and your family this year you will demonstrate the power of God and you will shame the devil in the name of Jesus. In 1 Kings, demonstrating the power of God. 1 Kings chapter 18, 1 Kings 18 verse 21. The Bible says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long are ye between two options? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Ba, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Elijah presented the people with two options. If God is God, follow God. And if Ba is God, follow Ba. But the people did not answer him. There, it is not a crime, beloved, to demonstrate the power of God. As a matter of necessity, you and I, believers in this age, we have gone to another level right now. The level whereby we need to come out of our comfort zones and declare to the darkness and declare to the enemies and declare to devil that God is God. Believers in this age now are living a fearful life. Everything is about, no, don't, no, no, you know, as a believer, don't fight, don't do this. No. Elijah came and he presented him with two options. Elijah came to demonstrate the supremacy, the power of God. Elijah came to tell them that darkness cannot overcome light. Elijah came to tell them that there is God in heaven and he alone needs to be referenced. I pray tonight that the authority and power to demonstrate God's anointing, to demonstrate the fullness of God, shall fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 17, verses 15 through to 21, you and I, the Lord, will lay his hand of power upon us. And when the power of God is upon you, beloved, when the power is upon you, you will showcase God's glory. You will showcase the supremacy of God to the world. That when a man is without power, that's when you see the man running earth and skater. But the day you receive power, you will demonstrate it. It is what you have that you can showcase. You cannot showcase what you don't have. If you have money, then you show money. If you have beauty, you show beauty. And if, if you have God's power, you will demonstrate it. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God to shame the devil will rest upon us in the name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 17, from verse 15 to 21, the Bible says, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and vexed so, and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, the man brought his son to the disciples, to the followers of Christ, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? For how long shall I suffer you? Bring him thither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and it departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Why could we not demonstrate this power? Why could we not just lay our hands on this child and the child get healed? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hands to yonder place. 
and it shall be removed. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will increase your faith. The Lord will increase my faith. And the Lord will give us the grace to fast and to pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus told them that because of their unbelief, that that was the reason why they could not demonstrate his power. You pray every day. You read the Bible every day. But when you are confronted with the issues of life, as soon as you pray, something tells you, oh, the enemies are still coming. It's because of your unbelief. Unbelief will make a follower of Christ not to demonstrate God's power. Lack of prayer will make a follower not to demonstrate God's power. And when you cannot fast, spiritual fasting, when you cannot deny your flesh, then you cannot demonstrate God's power. I want you to hold on to those three things. Faith, prayer, and fasting. Prayer is never too much. Fasting is never too much. Faith is never too much. So what do we mean when we say demonstrating the power of God? It means to appear and to disgrace the power of darkness. To appear and to disgrace the power of darkness. It means to render the weapons of the enemies useless. To render the weapons of the enemies useless. It means to trample upon serpents and scorpions. To trample upon serpents and scorpions and to render them powerless. It means to shut the mouth of the enemies. To shut the mouth of the enemies. It means to bind, to cast out, and to destroy the works of the devil. Demonstrating the power of God means healing terrible sicknesses. When all medical things are failed and you step in and you heal, it is demonstrating the power of God. Demonstrating the power of God means opening doors that the enemies have shut. It means to shut the door that the enemies have opened. It means to ex expose the secret plans of the enemies. It means to appear and for the kingdom of darkness to disappear. It means to uproot demonic and ancient plantations. Demonic what? Things that the enemies planted many years even before you were born. And when you appear, the Lord gives you the power to approve those things and cast them into fire. It is demonstrating God's power. It is bringing down God's glory. You appear in a place where there are problems and you appear and the problems by the authority in the word of God disappear. It is demonstrating the power of God for you to bring down God's glory. It means to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and to populate God's kingdom. Demonstrating the power of God means to pull down and destroy Goliath. To pull down and destroy Goliath. Let's say in the Bible, one example, just one. There are so many examples in the Bible where people demonstrated the power of God. Beloved, this year, for us to have the abundant testimony that the Lord has given us, we must be able to demonstrate God's power. We must be able to walk in faith. We must be able to pray to possess. And we must be able to fast to deny the flesh so that we can possess the testimonies that the Lord has promised this year. Enemies are fighting. Enemies too will not allow the weak Christians to go. Enemies will still hold some people in captivity. But the strong and the mighty enemies cannot hold. I pray that the Lord will turn you to become a strong vessel and a mighty vessel in his hand in the name of Jesus. And any power that will confront you, any demon or authority that will confront you this year, at the mention of the name of Jesus in your mouth, thunder will strike them dead in the name of Jesus. Any problems or challenges of life that will confront you and your family, that will confront you in your place of work, that will confront you in your ministry, at the mention of the name of Jesus in your mouth, at the mention of the name of Jesus in your home, your problems will die. Those problems and challenges will die, will die, will die, will die, will die. In Jesus' name, it is done. In 2 Kings chapter 1, 2 Kings chapter 1, from verse 9 to 10. 
2 Kings chapter 1, verse 9 through to 10. The Bible says, Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty, which is fifty. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king had said, Come down. And Elijah answered and said unto the captain of the fifty, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Elijah was summoned to come down. And Elijah told the man, the captain of the fifty, he said, if I be the man of God, let fire fall and consume the other 50. Elijah demonstrated the power of God. Beloved, without God in your life, you cannot showcase his glory. Without, the, without God in your life, you cannot demonstrate his power. Without you having the word of God deeply rooted in your life and having faith, you cannot demonstrate it. I want you to gather yourself together tonight. Tonight you will receive power. When the power of God is upon you, then you will be able to go to the old world and demonstrate God's power. Say, oh God, my father, tonight, lay your hand of power upon my life, upon my family. Oh God, my father, lay your hand of power upon me. In the name of Jesus, this year, Lord, every day, lay your hand of power upon me. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, my father, lay your hand of power, your hand of power upon me, oh God. Lay Lay your hand of power upon my family. Lay your hand of power upon my home. Lay your hand of power upon me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You need authority this year. Elijah spoke and heaven backed him up. Say, oh God, my father. Put your authority in my tongue this year. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, put your authority in my tongue. Put your authority in my tongue. Put authority in my tongue. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my father, put your authority in my tongue. Put your authority in my tongue. Put your authority in my tongue. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You need faith. Even with the authority of God in your life, you need faith. That whenever you declare a thing, that it must surely come. Say, my father, my father, my father, increase my faith in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, increase my faith, increase my faith, increase my faith, increase. Oh God, I pray for increasing faith. Oh God, increase my 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 faith. Oh God, increase. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with the faith in you, the power of God in you. It is time now to demonstrate God's power. Your foundation must be cleansed. Your environment must be pushed. You must declare to the kingdom of darkness that your home is a no-go area for them. You will declare it loud and clear. You will demonstrate God's power to the uttermost tonight. Say, foundational terrorist. There are powers that are in your foundation that are terrorizing you. Say, foundational terrorist, your time is up. Appear, da, 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 foundational terrorist in my life, in my environment. Your time is up by faith and by power. Appear, da, 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 appear, da. In Jesus' name, they are the Elijah said. If I be the man of God, let fire fall. You will shout like this. The man, the captain, came to summon Elijah to bring him down. Say, powers mandated to pull me down this year. Powers mandated to pull me down this year. If I be the man of God, let fire 
fire fall and consume them. Holy Ghost fire fall and consume them. Holy Ghost fire fall and consume them. Any power, any spirit, any personality mandated to pull me down, mandated to destroy me, mandated to destroy my home. If I be the man of God, Holy Ghost fire fall, consume them. 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 In Jesus' name, it is settled. Amen. They sent the captain and the fifty to bring down the man of God. Meaning, people will be sent this year to testify falsely against you, to do evil against you, to harm you, or to cause terrible things in your life before they carry out their evil mission. I want you to rain fire, thunder, and earthquake upon them so that wherever they are, they will not even leave the place before they die. You will shout like this. Agent of darkness. Agent of darkness. On assignment to disgrace me this year. Agent of darkness. On assignment to cause problems in my home this year. Agent of darkness. On assignment to bring evil report to my home this year. We are wherever you are. Holy Ghost fire, locate and destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, locate and destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, locate and destroy them. Locate them, destroy them. Locate them, destroy them. Fire, 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 locate them, destroy them. In Jesus' name, they are destroyed. You will pray for your destiny. Enough of rejection. Every time in your life you are being rejected, every time in your life that things are slowing down, it's because you are here to demonstrate. You are here to speak the word. Tonight, speak. The Bible says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. You will decree upon your destiny like this. Inherited rejection. Inherited rejection. Mark of hatred upon my life, inherited rejection, and mark of hatred upon my life. If I be the child of God, fire tonight, come down and consume them. Fire, consume them. Fire, consume them. Inherited rejection and I Mark of rejection, mark of hatred, Holy Ghost fire, consume them, Holy Ghost fire, consume them, Holy Ghost fire, consume them, Holy Ghost fire, 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 consume them, fire, consume them, fire, consume them, fire, consume them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You will pray against the diary of the enemies. As we have the circular calendar and the diary, so also we have the spiritual ones. The enemies too, they have their diaries and every day they have itineraries for the day, evil to carry out. You will pray like this. Diaries of my enemies catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every plans and the diaries of my enemies for this year catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Diaries of the wicked this year catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' name we are praying. Mighty and everlasting Father, we thank you because you are God of power. We well, thank you because at the mention of your name, every name must bow. Father, tonight we have called upon your name. Let every problems and challenges of life, let every attack, let them bow right now in the name of Jesus. Those who are sick, I bring the word of healing to their life. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Those who are heavy laden, I destroy the burdens of life in your life now in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the captivity of the devil, you are set free by the authority in the name of Jesus. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. Those who are looking unto God, 
for the fruit of the womb. Those who are looking unto God for one miracle or the other, receive your miracle now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Those who are looking for spiritual promotion, those who are looking for physical promotion, those who are looking for business expansion, by the authority in the name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it by faith. Every of your prayers tonight shall bring forth testimonies. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I take authority over the Prince of Persia, over enemies in the heavenlies that are on assignment to hinder any prayers. Thunder of God will destroy them now in the name of Jesus. And the angels bringing the answers to our prayers shall come speedily to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I want to congratulate you for what the Lord has done for you. The Lord has empowered you and I tonight and given us the insight into how to demonstrate His power. Beloved, you need faith, you need prayer, and you need to fast. Hold on to those three things and you see God moving expressly in your lives in the name of of Jesus. If today's broadcast is a blessing to you, share the good news, let the world know that they too, if they are with Christ, they are entitled to demonstrate God's power. We have other messages on YouTube under Reality Christian Center channel, also on our website www.thepathofrighteousness.com. Feel free to share the good news on our website. There are books there. Feel free to download them. Pray the prayers and you'll see God manifesting his power in your lives and in your homes in Jesus' name. This year, we need to do a lot of prayers. The enemies are not joking this year. So believers too must not joke with their spiritual life. And as we pray, may God Almighty daily, hourly, give us victory over these unrepentant enemies in Jesus' name. Tomorrow is Wednesday, the time to pray for our children. Let's meet together at the same time, 6 p.m. Irish time. Till I've ceased. And as we come together to pray for the children, may God Almighty make them great in this land in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven great hallelujah to celebrate God's power in our lives. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and have a blessed evening. Bye.